What's up you guys, this is Godson and we're coming back for some more clutch gameplay from these top players. So we're kicking it off with uh, enemy clan, or not an enemy, I'm not going to say enemy, this is just the opposite team. Uh, Takeshi, Avatar Dad, is that how you say it? A Atividad BR. And so he's starting it off with the Gawi Wipe. Uh, usually that team composition is with uh, witches and pekkas. Usually uh, before the update when the heroes change people would either do go wee wee or the go white. Now one's either more catered to uh, witches or pekkas but now uh, with the hero changes we are just using both of them witches and pekkas for our attacks and uh, it seems the majority of people that use this don't bring lightning spells. So that's what uh, Takeshi is doing right here and he's working his way towards the uh, town hall. He's doing an awesome job and he's got to the town hall. Now he just has to get these troops out of the way. These little skeleton traps. And it looks like he's doing it but somehow they're pulling him away from the town hall. However, oh dang. Okay, never mind. <laughs> he's got his uh, wizards and his witches taking out doing the job. That was pretty cool. The skeleton traps are working really nicely up here. They did detour the heroes, but his troops cleaned it up and took out the town hall. So all he needs now, he got the 50%. Now he's just cleaning up, seeing if he gets some more loot, adding insult to injury. And down goes the queen. All right. Nah, I really don't care to check out and see if they can get the uh, storages and cleanup work over here. So usually, I wait a second to see if anything else special happens and then I just take off and go to the next raid. So Takeshi is doing some cleanup work and making sure he's gotten that 50% which he did so we're gonna move on to the next one. And it is DB DXB from King's Rock and he's using the Pipikaka, the balloons, the balloonions and he had a lava hound that just blew up. So this is this is really nice. I think he had a, a dragon in the clan castle as well. And so this is considered I don't know the the to be honest with you guys the balloonion is probably the most overall like best troop composition in the game because you could use these guys down at lower levels at high levels and they could they just do their job doesn't matter what level you're at champs farming they can um or sorry champs or gold league they do their job and it's pretty much got him almost 50 percent with that attack so now it looks like he's gonna try and make his way towards the town hall he has to be careful because his heroes could either go for the archer tower on the left or the gold storage on the right but they seem to target that expo putting them right close yes and he gets the queen in there too so they're gonna get towards the town hall that's really clutch. Let's see what he can do. If he can get this without getting the king, uh, the enemy king in the way. Hopefully he doesn't tar um, pull the, okay, never mind. He aggroed the king. And now the king's going in. His his uh, king went down because the infernal tower is right there, but the queen locks onto the town hall and she takes it out before she has to deal with that king. Really awesome attack. That's case closed. Really nice. I like to see that stuff because that's those are clutch moments right there. Really hard to do sometimes because your heroes could go for any target they want and somehow these heroes got to the right place that he was aiming for. So good stuff. And she goes down. Good job. Next up we have Aladdin. I remember this dude. He's always doing some good two stars for us. Let's see what he could do on this attack right here and he's not using the go we wipe he's using the go wipe he's got more peckers and usually uh, when they do that it, I think he has three of them in there and that's to balance out the attack so that the hero um, because the heroes just aren't hitting as hard so now that he has three of them and he brought his lightning spell very smart because when you have lots of peckers in there and you don't have witches to back you up and to cause confusion with the weapons, they're going to be targeting your hero and your P.E.K.K.A.s. So having lightning spells uh, to take out the clan castle troop was a really good job. And me personally, I think it's kind of risky, but some people can pull it off. And Aladdin did that. He's gotten the ca clan castle, and now he's going for the town hall. He's taking it out. 
The Expo has nothing on the Queen because she's too strong. She could use her ability and take this thing out if she wanted. But he's preserving it. Never mind, he takes it out. He's going around. He's already gotten the 50%, so now he's just going to uh, do a little bit more damage. I usually just get out of there and save my Queen. And she's going to go down. But he still has five archers, so he's probably going to do some cleanup work here. But we're going to move on to the next one. All right, you guys, and this is the last attack of the video. Let's see what he can do. It's another uh, go wipe. He's got a few peckers in there. They're going to uh, hack and slash all these weapons, one shot them because they don't care. He's got the jump spell just to make sure that they funnel down to the town hall. The king's in. He's causing havoc, and the clan castle troops are coming out. And he does have a lightning spell to take care of these guys. Usually you'll see a lot of people putting archers, just tons and tons of archers because they realize dragons and witches in the clan castle, while they may be good, it's better if you slow them down by having one archer come out at a time to slow down their attack. And so that's what they do. And they, they've slowed down this attack pretty much. However, it's not slowed enough. And the queen's in range. She could probably get to the town hall if she needed to. We just have to see if she's targeting it. Okay, she's going for the eggs bowl. What else is she going to take? Yes, she goes for the town hall. Okay, you have to be kind of careful with the AI sometimes. They could go for the closest target or sometimes any target. So she decides to take out the town hall. She's done it. And now he just has to work on getting that 50%. But she might do it. She still has her ability and only, it seems, 8% left. Yes. Now he activates the ability. She's going in. She takes out everything with one shot. Except for the walls, of course. And this is going to get him the 50%. Bam. Right when she goes down. Good stuff. So you guys, also, if you look at these uh, Town Hall 10s that they're fighting up here, a lot of the weapons are still strong, even though the walls aren't pretty high up. So, you know, if you ever attack Town Hall 10s, just make sure you look at the weapons, how strong they are, and where they're placed. Because sometimes you can fight bases where the weapons aren't in the area and it's easier for you to attack and uh, yeah you guys this war is gonna keep going it's only halfway done I'm gonna probably get my attacks in uh, tomorrow and then I'll be covering the rest of the war so hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you did and I'll be uh, coming back next time with my attacks so thank you for watching this is Godson and I'll see you next time Godson out